this video explains how you can uh, fix the errors in WordPress website when uh, you find uh, in Tom your uh, HTTP server or uh, Apache server this uh, error where it says that uh, required once failed opening required in specific directory so here you can see that uh, in my Apache error logs it is saying that the error is coming in this uh, particular file you can see that WP contain plugins not PHP so most of the times uh, you will have the internal server error 500 when this thing happens and uh, most of the times it happens with plugins so you can uh, see here that uh, there is a problem with this plugin ninja plugin and that's why uh, this error I'm getting in this uh, server log so if you don't know how to see the server logs you can uh, check the documentation of your server that you're using in HTTPD, HTTPD server you can uh, see this uh, error log in this particular uh, file error.log it depends upon your configuration so that I have configured this website uh, in such a way that errors will be logged in this particular file so it's very easy to find out exact issue of what's happening on your WordPress website so from this error log I can uh, see that there is a problem with plugin so to fix this what I did is I rename that plugin directory you can see that I renamed that plugin directory and removed the, all the plugins that were causing the problems. And finally, uh, it, the website started working. So that's how you can uh, fix that error. So you can fix this uh, 500 internal server error as well as other errors that PHP fatal error as well. Uh, you can fix this using this particular technique. So there were lots of plugins that were not uh, working properly. So I just removed them completely and uh, you can see that uh, in old plugins there are lots of uh, plugins there which I'm not using so there were problems in uh, most of these plugins so that's why I created another directory here in this uh, in website this WP content folder there will be a plugins directory you have to uh, just uh, uh, rename that directory and then just copy the plugins that are working in this plugins directory and then that's how you can fix this problem thanks for watching this video